Well, hey there, guys. <clears throat> Welcome back to the channel. Uh, been a couple days since I've been on. Last time I was on, I was uh, showing off my uh, my new uh, microphone here, which uh, hopefully in the video it should sound pretty decent. And uh, so I wanted to do this. I, I kind of I was I was thinking about this. At least I had seen the news for it. And I wanted to talk about it, and then I totally kind of spaced it. And uh, it's kind of a kind of a big deal if uh, you know if you if you have uh, regional sports broadcasting. So it's uh, kind of a kind of a big deal for sure. But before I get into that, if you are new to the channel, uh, welcome. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoy the videos, and. Uh, be sure to check out some of the other videos on the channel. And, uh, you know, if you like anything hockey-related, hockey news, like I'll be talking about here, hockey jerseys, jersey unboxings, basically anything hockey-related, I love talking about it. It's my passion. And uh, if, uh, you know, if you guys like that kind of, that kind of stuff, uh, it would mean a great deal if you would hit, the, uh, hit that subscribe button down there in the uh, corner. And, uh, and yeah. So, let's talk a little bit about this. Now, I kind of wrote it. I kind of wrote it out. I wrote it out here on the uh, on the board. Now, Sinclair Broadcasting, who they do a lot of sports broadcasting. Uh, well, apparently they are filing for bankruptcy. They have. Basically, they they spent way too much money on sports rights, and it is now kind of kicked them in the butt. They own Diamond Sports Group LLC. They are the group that owns uh, a lot of the sports, the Fox Sports affiliates, like like. Uh, like here in Minnesota and other places, Bally Sports, uh, Diamond Sports Group LLC owns they they own them, and they of course are a part of Sinclair Broadcasting. And apparently, Diamond Sports Group themselves are eight point six billion dollars in debt. Now that ain't good. That's not good at all. And uh, overall, Sinclair Broadcasting in sport in sporting rights owes fifty five billion dollars. Uh, holy holy mackerel! I mean that is that is an ins that's that's an insane uh, amount to think about. You know, especially in sports rights. And over here, they owe fifty-five billion in sports rights, but they only have six hundred million dollars in cash on them. They only have six hundred million in cash on hand. So, six hundred million dollars in cash on hand, but they owe fifty-five billion. Yeah, that don't that that's not good. That is not good whatsoever. They have missed payments to the NHL and the NBA, and. I have listed on here, these are the NHL markets that are affected. But it's not just the NHL in these markets. It is the NBA. It is Major League Baseball. And uh, football, yeah, you don't really have to worry about, worry about the NFL. But the NFL, the NBA, and Major League Baseball, those are three, three big sports that are all affected by this uh this situation going on because bally sports which falls under diamond sports group which falls under sinclair broadcasting so it's all it's all under the sinclair umbrella and it's uh it's it's not a good situation now the nhl market's affected you have los angeles anaheim arizona dallas st louis tampa bay Minnesota, Detroit, Columbus, Nashville, Carolina, and Florida. 
So those are just the NHL markets. Now you got to think too. Now these these all have Bally Sports under them. These all have to have uh, NBA teams and uh, Major League Baseball teams. So they they're they're work, they're working with a lot of the leagues right now to try to figure out how to how to keep the the broadcasts going i mean like here in minnesota bally sports they cover the minnesota twins the minnesota timberwolves and the minnesota wild they play a lot a lot of the regional games are played there if the game is not on national tv you you tune you tune into bally sports you'll catch the timberwolves the twins and the wild all the games are on those channels. And with this going on, it is a big it's it's a it's it's an issue. It is a big it's a big issue, it's a big problem because the possibility of these regional markets losing the broadcasts for these teams yeah, that's not going to make a lot of people real happy, especially here in especially here in Minnesota with the Minnesota Wild. Yeah, that's not going to make people real happy. Not at all. So they are they're they're going through bankruptcy. They're they're going to be filing for for chapter 11 and they're going to try to I mean obviously they're going to try to work something out here to keep uh, sports going on these channels, but man, oh man, I mean, sports, sports, you know, I mean, just, you know, between, between sports broadcast rights, naming rights, it is insane the amount of money that, that is charged these places, that these, that these companies pay. It's, I mean that's that's crazy. Fifty-five billion dollars in sports rights. I mean that that's that is that is one of the craziest. I mean, I could I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine paying that much for sports broadcast rights. But you know, I mean that's kind of what I mean. Look, let me. Look what the NHL got. You know, you talk about broadcasting rights. Look at what the NHL got with ESPN. Look at all the money that ESPN is put is putting out there for the NHL, the NBA. Uh, I think they, you know, they those are the two main ones that they have. But ESPN, they're not having any problems. You know, they're not having any issues paying for these rights, paying these leagues to have the games on the TVs. Or on the on on the telecasts, so it, it's it is it is insane. It is an insane amount of money, and uh, you know it'll be very interesting to see exactly, you know what what happens. How does this how does this get rectified? You know, is there you know is there a way that the NHL and the NBA and Major League Baseball, you know, can all come to something, come to some kind of agreement where, you know, where, where these, where these markets are not going to lose, uh, their, their broadcast rights, because that would be, I mean, every one of these markets, I mean, you're talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 12 different markets. That's just the NHL. And like I said, a lot of these play, a lot of these have, you know, Major League Baseball uh, rights also. And, you know, and, and like I said, they're all, they're all regional. These are all regional broadcast, regional broadcasting, uh, broadcast channels. And it's, it's crazy. It is absolutely insane to think that. You know, fifty-five billion dollars for broad for broadcast rights for regional broadcast rights. Though that's, I mean, that's not even it's not even that's not even national. This is just regional. These are all these are regional channels. Bally Sports, you know, Bally Sports 
has they're they're in all of these markets. This is all got to do with uh, Bally Sports, who again is under the Diamond Sports Group, who is all under Sinclair. So the fact that it's that they're they're that they're that deep, they're that they're that deep in debt. Wow, it's gonna be very uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see how how do how do they navigate this. How are they going to work around this? That's something obviously we're going to have to wait and see. Because, uh, if, I tell you, uh, with with the way that some of these, and it's it's and it's interesting. Bally Sports. I mean, here in Minnesota, people are you know people are kind of up and down on Bally Sports, especially like the broadcast teams. Who broadcast, you know, especially like who broadcast the wild. There, I mean, there's a couple of new, there's a couple of new, uh, new people that are doing the wild games, and people are they're not too crazy about them. They're they're not that crazy about them. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a, you know, regional coverage is always kind of a kind of up and down, you know. And and that's the thing. If the if if a lot of these channels, especially here in Minnesota, if they're not on ESPN. They're going to be on Bally Sports, and the fact that Bally Sports is going through this, and I mean Sinclair owes fifty-five billion in tolls in sports rights. Diamond Sports Group they owe they owe eight point six million uh, billion dollars. Uh, I mean, spending all that money for. Regional broadcast rights uh, might be something you might want to think about later on. Maybe not put out all that money. May not, maybe not. Maybe not put out you know a whole ton of money like that because this is the kind of thing that could happen. So it's going to be interesting to see what uh, what goes on here. What you know? What the future is going to be? What the future is going to be for Bally Sports in all of these markets? Twelve markets that are affected, and that's just the, and that's just the NHL. You know, I mean, you have you have the NBA and you have Major League Baseball also that's that's involved in this. So, you know, missed payments and all that. So, I mean, they've got they're trying to do something where nothing's really going to be affected. At least yet, but it's it's going to be interesting to see exactly what happens. So let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about you know regional regional broadcasting rights? Are they really worth that much? Are they really worth fifty five billion dollars in 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 sport broadcasting rights to these regional? Uh, these these regional channels. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see. It's gonna be interesting to see here what the you know exactly what Sinclair goes through, how it's gonna be figured out, how the you know how are the channels gonna be affected? Are they gonna be affected at all? Hopefully they're not gonna be affected at all. But again, we don't know. And. Uh, and yeah, fifty-five billion dollars in 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 regional broadcasting rights, man, that's crazy. It just, it, but you know, I mean, they obviously thought that this was you know a good thing to do, and because I believe uh, Canada has been going through that a similar kind of thing between uh, you know between like Sportsnet. And uh, TSN and, you know, the places up in Canada, I think they're going through something similar. Or have been over the last couple of years. But, uh, but yeah, for, for down here in the States, this going on, yeah, Sinclair's got, uh, Sinclair's, uh, they kind of stepped in it a little bit. So, it's going to be interesting to see exactly, you know, what, 
what happens with the court proceedings, how they're going to figure this out. And, uh, you know, we'll see if anybody, we'll see if any of these markets are affected. Uh, yeah. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you guys think it's insane for, to be paying that kind of money for, for regional sports broadcasting? I'd love to know what you guys think. Uh, I will put the uh, link to the discord in the, uh, in the description. And, uh, and yeah, I'd love to, love to hear what you guys think. 55 billion in broadcast rights. Too much? I'm thinking a little too much. But, uh, you know, again, I'd love to know what you guys think. Uh, do you think uh, any of these markets will be affected here in the, uh, in the near future? Or not so much? I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you have not done so already, and uh, I will see you guys later.